Welcome back to Sexified Fallout New Vegas. I'm Rook. This lovely underwear girl is nasty, and the reason she is in her underwear right now is because not only does she look great in it, but uh, we are, I think, done with Vera's dress and the idea of doing any kind of persuasion uh, with anybody. Uh, <laughs> the only people that are left really are freaking holograms, and so, yeah, I don't think they're going to be persuaded by anything. Um, but, no, we're not going to run around in our underwear. We are actually going to put on uh, some reinforced armor. I just fixed it all up a little bit here. Let's see. Okay, there's that. I'm going to put on that helmet. And we've got that fully repaired reinforced armor. And so that's that. Then another thing I want to do is I want to look at our weapons. Again, I've repaired up a bunch of the stuff. And I have got this automatic rifle here and I'm not sure if I've hotkeyed it on anything uh, I don't know let's let's take a look at what we do have on our hotkeys okay that's the police pistol and then that's the hollow rifle and the laser pistol, a pipe, uh, the spear, the cosmic knife, or the superheated cosmic knife, and I think that's it. All right, so let's do this. Um, that, where is it? Cop cosmic knife superheated this one. I'm going to actually put that on one, and then we will put this automatic rifle on five, maybe? Right. Now, this automatic rifle, if you'll look, it's got a, a 37 damage, but a 230 DPS. I don't have a lot of shots for it, but, um, you know, it, with rapid fire, it might do us pretty good. Again, I don't know what we're going to use it against other than holograms, which aren't really going to do us a great deal of, of good anyway. But what's this? Okay, that's the hollow rifle again. knife right got it so uh, one thing we have not yet done and we need to do I mean it's kind of the reason we're in here is to uh, oh, there's more stuff we got to pick up okay uh, is to go into this vault control terminal so that's what we're gonna do now uh, Vera keys Just extracted file not found. Uh, Vera. To Vera. Vera, if you're reading this, my fears have come to pass, and this is an apology. I hope you realize what my last words meant to you. Uh, if so, they have led you here, and this place will keep you safe. I know that they, what they meant for me, and I fear they have trapped me here. I've extracted the previous entry after our conversation tonight. It can't have been easy for you, and I'm sorry for all I've put you through in silence. I know while you do not love me, you did not mean any malice in what you did. I knew about your plans to rob the casino with Dean before you told me. Hearing it from you didn't make it any easier. For what it's worth, I'm glad you told me yourself, and I understand the tapes he had in his possession. I do not think either one of you realized what your addic addiction stemmed from. However, and, and, oh, I don't think either one of you realized what your addiction stemmed from, however, and that is the tragedy in this. I suspect the world would not have believed you regardless, so I suspect your desire to keep it from others. When first building this villa, this casino, I meant it for you, as the world seemed 
to race headlong toward war, it became part of my desire to protect you. The loans, the funding I poured into the casino's construction, I knew it would not matter when war came for us. So it was my means of creating a shelter, a defense if the world was bombarded in radiation and bombs. When Dean revealed his plans inadvertently through our introduction, I realized what had happened and now I had been and how I had been tricked. For a time my thoughts were dark. I changed the casino vault from a shelter into a trap. As I knew the first one to enter would be Dean. He would die down here and it would have been hit by his own hand. I fear, however, that I overstepped myself, and the only safe place in the casino is the vault. I've tried to rewire the systems, change the protocols, and I cannot. I will do one last check on the pipes by the edge of the outside platform and see if anything can be done. I fear it's useless. If you come down here, do not access my personal accounts entry. It contains only a message for Dean, and it will seal the door and you'll have no way out. Even the elevator is designed to automatically return when the door is closed, and it will lock in place. There should be enough in the vault to sustain you until help arrives. I've ensured that there is enough medical supplies down here to keep you comfortable. The hologram should defend the casino from any attackers, and the hologram beacon in the villa will broadcast an emergency signal so that others know you're here. When danger is passed, rescue, rescue will come. I hope you're you were able to read this and know that I loved you, Frederick Sinclair. Wow, okay. Um, so, we're not supposed to access his personal accounts? What? You. You're in the vault, finally. After all this time. The Sierra Madre. Mine. Don't move. Don't go into the vault, and don't touch anything else. There may be more traps down there. Another security system. Still hiding behind image screens, I see. Hiding? Hardly. Trapped. You think you were the first one to unlock the casino door? No, I did it. With other hands, other bodies. After that, the casino wouldn't let go. Once I was locked in, no way out. Until your pip boy signal came to life in the villa. Then, then, uh, things change. And here you are. You've got a lot to answer for. Do I? For what? Your greed? Curiosity? You came here on your own. No one held a gun to your head. <laughs> I've seen your pip boy archives. But the caller. Your map markers and notes. You picked up the Sierra Madre signal just as I did. You couldn't resist. Yeah. So, if you feel I have a lot to answer for, no, the blame isn't on my shoulders. Might as well have put the collar on yourself. Yeah, but I didn't. How did you access my pit boy You speak as if your fingers have never touched the keys of a Robco terminal. No machine is foolproof. They are designed to obey us. The pip boys operating system has vulnerabilities. Advantages to those who've studied its construction, even superficially. It's just a machine, though. Its real vulnerability is who wears it. And that's how you were caught. What do you mean? That thing on your wrist. It's a convenience. It tells you where to go, what to do. It dulls your brain. It may have helped you find the Sierra Madre broadcast, but it's just as much a crutch today as it was in the old world. Uh, hmm. Before this goes any further, I had questions. Curious? You must be. We have time now that you've done your work. And our interactions have been too one-sided, even for my tastes. What do you want from the Sierra Madre? What do I want? Weapons. Security. A citadel of my own. The Madre is all these things. It's a fortress. A weapon. A chance to begin again. Once I unlock its archives, I can carve the Mojave into any shape I choose. 
I don't understand how an old world casino helps you do any of that. The cloud is unique in my travels. Its proximity to the Sierra Madre isn't a coincidence. Right now it protects this casino, preserves it. It can be used to preserve other old world relics and cleanse them at the same time. And as much as I've researched hologram technology, the big empty facility was clear. Only the Sierra Madre got holograms working properly. Properly? Are you kidding me? The holograms here kill trespassers. That's what I want. Dump one of those emitters in the middle of any battle, there's no defense. It's like holding light in your hands. Can fight it. Only watch it burn. Just one is a portable army. Arm it. Anyone stands against you, dies. If you secure that, that's all you want? No. There's one last thing I want from the Sierra Madre. It's bounty. The machines that fill its streets, its corridors. They provide, provide almost anything. Perhaps in the pre-war era, they were commonplace. Things to dismiss. Now they are far more valuable. You know it. They helped keep you alive. Can't argue with that. Sources of food, supplies, medical assistance, ammo, make more callers, even print currency. Make a nation. The cloud allows me to wipe the slate clean. Callers ensure cooperation. Holograms, defense. The vending machines provide everything else. The Sierra Madre can kill nations and build them using its technology with the right applications. You're nothing more than a killer that aspires to mass murder. You think I'm a murderer? If I was, I'd have set off your collar long ago. The collar ensures compliance, encourages cooperation. Think about it. Would you truly have gotten into the casino without those collars? No. Human nature is against us, always. Did you know that I had to keep adjusting the collars? Keep changing the rules to make this moment possible? What are you talking about? Every time, even with collars clutched at their necks, they would betray each other, kill each other to get inside the Sierra Madre. It... It was insanity. They could have had it all. It was so close. And... And they kept turning on each other, again and again. Cracking the Sierra Madre was difficult, but cracking greed, that was more difficult. So the dead man switches when in. So you answered madness with madness. When your life is tied to another's, sacrifice and cooperation, they can be conditioned, learned, and you can focus on the matter at hand. Greed can be beaten, contained, controlled. You know it better than anyone. Or I hope you do. It doesn't matter. Hmm, okay. Now that I'm here, are you coming down? No. I'm not going to take the chance while I'm so close. Not this close. No. Not again. I can wait. Afford to be careful. You? You're locked down there. This is the only entrance. And I have free reign of the Sierra Madre. I have time. More than you. Besides, there might be more traps. I'll send more scouts in. Yes, others. You're resourceful. Don't want to leave anything more to chance. Then I'll find a way to unlock the secrets of this vault and take them for myself. You've gotten far. Any farther, try to breach the vault, you become a corpse. What's inside is mine. Anyone else touches it, tries to take it from me, they'll answer for it. Mm. I already managed to unlock the elevator and get down here before you. Better hurry. 
This casino is in some caravan safe, and the lock that secures the Sierra Madre vault doesn't hold all its secrets. Fine. Stay out there and wait. I'll keep busy down here. Find a way inside? You can try. The Sierra Madre is a patient thing, and it has outlasted many who've come to its doors. The punishment often equals a reward for those without the foresight to see what's in store. I'll let you test the security. See how you stand up. You know, the Sierra Madre is a huge combination lock. Me? I've almost cracked it. I've had enough, enough of others stealing from me. I'm coming down. Forget the Sierra Madre security. I'll find you myself. Try to break into the vault, I'll set off the caller. Ah. Okay, so he's coming down. Uh, complete and discover the secrets of the Sierra Madre Central Vault. Defeat Elijah Optional. Sneak out of the vault's chamber. Area undetected, trapping Elijah when he opens the vault. Hmm, well, do I want to trap him in here, or do I want to I want to find out the secrets and stuff? But, I don't think I can sneak out. Because I've got Vanessa and Willow, and they're just going to attack. Let's see here. Probably, let's go with this, let's... Let's get some more ammo for it. This is 308 ammo. Can I get some 308s? Oh, damn, I can't. Let's get, uh, let's get some super stim packs, though. Like the, there was a, was it, what were they called? The instant stim pack thing. There was something. Oh no no that you make those in the um, in the weapons workbench. Okay, well that's that then. So. this place out here. Oh, there's Elijah. That was him, wasn't it? Hey, what are you doing to shut those turrets down up here? Jump. Can you be down there? Come on, Johnny. Can you go down there? Tell me this is Everybody's freaking talking at once. They won't get off your collar anymore. Just here. Man, okay, there we go. Get him, Vanessa. Get him, Vanessa. You got him. Can I get him from here? I can't really. I don't think I'll be able to even shoot through that. happening. Okay, Elijah's dead. Oh, great. Now I've got to escape before my collar explodes. Okay, he's gone. He's freaking long gone. Now I've got to get out of here before my collar explodes. Extracted holotape, alright, and then toolbox. How the hell am I supposed to get out of here? I don't know the way out. Holy cow, everything's exploding. What are you doing? I'm just trying to find the freaking way out. What's going on here? There's some freaking thingy over there. And this I don't think goes anywhere. Maybe. No. Oh my god. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. My head's gonna explode. My head's gonna freaking explode. Oh, there it went. Fantastic. 
fantastic. So, how do I get out of here? God knows. Uh, yeah, that stunk. Okay, and so here we are back at the whole beginning of this video. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to replay that whole thing for you again, guys. What I am going to do is stand here in my underwear and say thank you so much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed this. Next time, we're going to find our freaking way out of here one way or another. Maybe I'll just find my way out and join you as we're getting out. This is dumb. It's so freaking dumb. But uh, I'm in it, and here we, here we are. So for now, if you're liking this, please smash the like button. If you know the freaking way out, if, there, if there's something else I'm supposed to do in here, whatever. I don't care if it's a spoiler or not. Tell me. I, I'm fine with that. Uh, for now, uh, if you're liking it, smash the like button. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. We'll talk with all of you again very, very soon.